All right. Thanks again for joining me here on Three Minute Knives, where we go over the ins and outs of a particular knife in three minutes or less. Today, I've got a uh, pretty cool knife to show you guys. Um, I know uh, I've been a little lacking on uploading vids recently, but uh, this is a cool one. And I've got some more coming uh, real soon, too. This is uh, the PMP Alpha Smilodon. As soon as I saw this, I knew I had to get one. Uh, so first off, this is the case that you get it in. I love it. You open it up. Beautiful. PMP Knives Alpha Smilodon. Look how nice that is. I love this. And when I tell you the price of everything, you're going to be uh, really surprised. You get this nice little challenge coin with it. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty cool. Anyway, love the box. I love it when makers put a nice uh, case, pouch, box, something in there. All right. So um, I also may go over my three minutes because uh, I got a lot to talk about this one. So this is the PMP Knives Alpha Smilodon. PMP also makes the also makes the Alpha Beast, which if you've seen that one, you know that is a monster. So this one is a lot more manageable than the Alpha Beast. The, the Alpha Smilodon, and in case you're wondering, Smilodon is the scientific name of the saber-toothed tiger, saber-toothed cat. This is the all blackout version. They have a satin finish, stone wash kind of blade or a handle and blade version. They have a blackout version with blue anodized hardware. And they also have the uh, stone wash version with blue anodized hardware. All right, so let's go over some specs of this. Overall length, 9.53 inches. Blade length, 3.67 inches. Width, 1.6 inches. Thickness, uh, I could not find uh, anything about the thickness, and I don't have a way to measure it. But I'm going to guess it's probably in that 0.19, maybe 0.20. Well, actually, probably in the 0.20 20 area. Uh, handle length, 5.8 inches. 1.4 inches wide, 0.4 inches thick. 7.9 ounces. M390. Ceramic bearings, ceramic detent. You've got this big pivot on this side, which is also the oops, which is also the over travel stop. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, works great. Action right out of the box is perfect. Now, if you look at this, and I'm sure some of you have already uh, realized it, but it kind of looks like the Arius. A big Arius. A really big Arius. Now, I've handled the Arius before, and it was great. I liked it a lot. But for me, I could not justify the price of it. It's a great knife, so all of you that have one and you love it, I'm not taking anything away from it. Um, it's just, it's an expensive knife. This one is coming in at $250. $250. Look at that pocket clip. Pocket clip is great. Got this ceramic roller ball right there. One thing I do I really like about this pocket clip is there is no lanyard hole uh, you know, in the knife itself or on the backspacer, but the pocket clip, because it sits up like this, that's perfect for a lanyard. If you like lanyards, if you don't like lanyards, then you don't have this uh you know, piece sticking up off the backspacer or a hole and then the you know knife handle itself. I love that. And that and there's been a few other knives that do that as well. But I just I, I like that. You've got a glass breaker on the end, the ceramic ball in there. I like that. Texture on the handle is really nice. It's kind of a frag pattern, but not not really. It's you know it's a smaller kind of a grid pattern, but yeah, it's done done very nicely. It's not real aggressive, but it's just enough to get good grip. 
You got a little bit of jimping up top here, so you can really bear down on something. So I like big knives. If you've if you're familiar with my channel, you know this. I get a lot of big knives in. Um, that's what I prefer. And this one is done really, really nice. And I gotta say, being that I've handled an Arius before, I prefer this. Everything about this is just done perfectly. From the M390 to the grid pattern on here, to the pocket clip, to the ceramic glass breaker, to the over travel stop. This is a really nice knife. And at $250, how can you go wrong? M390, there's nothing about this that is not great other than the size. Some of you aren't big knife guys, but if you are, this is one to get. You cannot beat the price. The only thing that I wish they would have done with this is maybe put some type of fuller right at the top here. So you could get a little finger flick, a little thumb flick. That's the only thing. Maybe in subsequent versions, if this sells well, they can do that. Action, like I said, action right out of the box is so smooth. There's nothing wrong with that. For a big knife, it just flies out. The lockup is great. I don't know if that's going to come in here. Lockup is great. T8 all the way around. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm digging this one. I've only had this for a day. Um, I've carried it. It carries fine. Very slim profile. Which makes it that much easier to carry. So it's a big knife, but with that slim profile, it carries really nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I dig this one. The PMP Alpha Smilodon. Even if you don't like big knives, man, you should you should give this one a try. It is really nice. It's so comfortable in hand. I mean, I don't really feel any hot spots in here at all. Only thing I could say, minor little nitpick, is the lock bar because it's so thin. So if you are really bearing down on, you know, maybe shaving some wood for a while, that lock bar might kind of wear on your finger a little bit right there. It's just because it's it's thin and it kind of kind of sticks up a little bit higher than this side. So you feel that just the slightest bit, but that's just nitpicking. Everything else, man, I dig this one. This is nice. Alpha Smilodon PMP knives. Check them out. They have other knives uh, as well. You know, take a look at them. Get out of your comfort zone sometimes. Get out of the uh, you know Benchmade Spyderco ZT lane and try some different knives. This is a great one. PMP Alpha Smilodon. Check it out.